All right, everybody. Today, what we're going to be talking about is long division. And, you know, a lot, of, a lot of students get concerned with it. It's not that big of a deal. So I'm going to go ahead and work through an example. So this way, it might be able to help you with your long division. All right. So let's go ahead and do... 2,577 divided by 3. Now, whenever you say that, the 2,577 goes in the inside and it's divided by 3. Now, the first thing that you're going to do, you're going to want to look, you're going to say, can 3 go into 2? We don't want to worry about the rest of these numbers. Well, can 3 go into 2? No, it can't because 2 is way smaller than 3, right? So you move over your hand and you say, can 3 go into 25? Well, yeah, we know 3 can go into 25. And this is where knowing your times tables is really going to help. So let's just take a guess. Let's go 3 times 5. So off to the side, you can do 3 times 5. And from your times tables, you know it's 15. So we need to go more. So let's go up, let's go up to 7. 3 times 7 equals 21. Well, 21 is still less than 25, so we, we, need to take another, we need to go another step. 3 times 8 equals 24. We're almost there, so let's just make sure that we have the right number. 3 times 9 is 27. So what we're looking for, we're looking for a number that's almost as big as this 25, or equal to this 25, but just one below before we go over. So if you look here, it's this one. 3 times 8 is 24. Now, whenever you do this, when you find your answer, you're going to put your 8, or whichever number you get, above the last number you're looking to go into, so 8. So the question is, how many times does 3 go into 25? The answer is 8 times. Well, we need to do 3 times 8 because we want to see how close we are to 25. So how many times does 3 go into 25? 3 goes in 8 times. 8 times 3 is 24. This is where you probably seen your teacher do a subtract. And you come down here. 5 minus 4 is 1. 2 minus 2 is 0. So we have an answer of 1. Now, here's a hint for you. This answer, whenever you subtract, should never be bigger than this number over here. That If it is, it means you didn't go in enough times. So, 1 is less than 3, so we know we got it right. Now, we got to make sure we continue on to our numbers. So what we're going to do, we're going to bring down our 7. Okay? It's kind of like, remember here, we were just looking at 25. Now we're just going to be looking at 17. So how many times, and let's write this one in green, can 3 go into 17? That's our question. Well, we know 3 times 5 is 15. So that's almost there. Let's just make sure. We're going to do 3 times 6 is 18. So 3 times 6 is bigger because 18 is bigger than 17, so we want this one here. 3 times 5 is 15. It's always helpful to write out your multiplications off to the side, so that way you know exactly what you're dealing with. So 3 times 5, we're going to put our 5 here. Three. How many times is 3 going to 17? 3 goes into 17 5 times. 3 times 5 is 15. So we're going to subtract. 7 minus 5 is 2. 1 minus 1 is 0. 2 is less than 3, so we knew we did it right. Okay? We're almost done. We're going to bring down this 7. Okay? I guess I should probably write that in blue. Keep in line with what I'm doing. We're going to bring down this 7, and so we're stuck here. How many times is 3 going to 27? Well, if you look over here, we already have the answer. 3 times 9 is 27. So we're going to put our 9 up above over here. How many times is 3 going to 27? 3 goes into 27 9 times. 9 times 3 is 27. You're going to subtract. When you subtract it, you're going to get 0. So, 3... Uh, 2,577 divided by 3 equals 859. Or, you can say it, 3 goes into 2,577 859 times. Now, we'll have to do another lesson on remainders and decimals, but this is the gist of your long division. Basically, you're
you're going to be asking yourself, how many times does this number go into this number? When you figure that answer out, you write it up above here, and then you multiply these two. How many times does 3 go into 25? 8 times. 8 times 3 is 24. Minus it, get 1, bring it down. How many times does 3 go into 17? 3 goes into 17 5 times. 5 times 3 is 15. Minus it, get a 2, bring down our last 7. How many times does 3 go into 27? 3 goes into 27 9 times. 9 times 3 is 27. Minus it and get your 0. It's as easy as that. Just follow those examples and I think you'll get it just fine. Alright, good luck guys.